And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and we're in the mighty 1090 studios with Chief John and Ryan from Dana Landing and East County Bait and Tackle. Great show this morning, talking fishing, both fresh and saltwater, on Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. A few years ago, Shimano introduced the Tranks 500 Reel, and it changed the way we cast for big fish. Now, by popular demand, Shimano has created two new sizes, introducing the Tranks 300 and 400. Available now at your local Shimano dealer, Tranks is the dream reel for throwing big baits and catching big fish. X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide massive cranking power with a smooth, effortless retrieve. Plus, Shimano's new Core Protect water-resistant technology provides long-lasting durability in the harshest environment. The new Tranks 300 and 400 are available in two gear ratios and two different handle designs to cover all fresh and saltwater applications. See the new Tranks 300 and 400 at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks, it's not just a new reel, it's a way to fish. Check Shimano.com for all the details. There's a new kid in town and they are creating near miracles on boats all over the Southland. It's Blue Seas Fabrication, the West Coast first and only certified sea deck fabricator and installer. Install Sea Deck EVA from non-skid decking materials on your boat, sport fisher, or yacht, and your boating experience is enhanced and improved. Why? Well, first, Sea Deck from Blue Seas Fabrication enriches the look of any boat, old or new. Next, the Sea Deck non-skid decking material adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. The possibilities are endless. Let the experts from Blue Seas Fabrication show you how Sea Deck will make your life easier and better on every trip. Their professional staff will custom fit your deck, bridge, and interior with the stylish, non-absorbent, stain-resistant, and easy-to-clean material in multiple textures, designs, and colors. Sea Deck offers comfort and anti-fatigue properties for those long days of fishing. It can also be used on kayaks, boat trailers, and more. See for yourself. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com to see how Sea Deck can transform your watercraft and truly create a wow factor for the next time you head out. Call them at 858-232-4188 for more information and a free quote. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com fabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience. The bluefin are abundant this year, but getting them the bite is another story. But if you're willing to chase them, there's an opportunity to land the catch of a lifetime. Now getting the deal of a lifetime on a new Ford is much less effort because the gigantic summer sales event is going on now at your San Diego County Ford dealer. Choose from a great selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs and save big on interest charges with zero APR long-term financing. On top of that, your Ford dealer will give you an additional bonus for your qualified trade. This special offer is available to anyone who gets approved through Ford Motor Credit. You'll also find great deals on new Ford Super Duty, Motor Trend Magazine's 2017 Truck of the Year. So why chase deals all over town when you can land the deal of a lifetime on the new Ford, car, truck, or SUV you've always wanted during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Going to be a fun show today, man. Indeed. Great. Our friends here, Steve, John, and Ryan from Dana Landing, East County Bait and Tackle. Good morning, gentlemen. Good boys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you. Steven, what's going on over at Dana Landing right now? Uh, it's summertime. Yeah. 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 It's what's crazy. That, what's that mean at Dana Landing? <laughs> it's pretty uh, wild, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been crazy. I mean, even this morning before we came into the show, there was, you know, a line, a line at both registers and... We had to scoot out to go to the show, but it's uh, you know, this is trailer boat season right now, so it's launch ramp is like it always has been, completely full. It's you know, kind of transferring into that uh, paddy kelp style fishing, which is just perfect for the trailer boater. Um, then obviously having Shelter Island launch ramp closed or close to close is just made it really, really busy. Have uh, you seen there. the effects of that? Of people launching with you guys? Yeah. You know what you notice is during the week, 
Uh, like you get there in the morning during the week and the lot's full. And that, like, always in the weekends, and there's always still spots, but I mean, it was always full on the weekends. But when you roll in on it like a Tuesday, um, yeah, and it's full. You, you can definitely tell. No yeah. question. Johnny keeping you busy there and uh, behind the counter and uh, running everything there at Daniel. Oh, yeah, just trying to keep the shelf stocked. <laughs> yeah. With, uh, what people want. What do they just want to... right now? Uh, <laughs> um, well, we're kind of finally transitioning out of the yummy flyer craze, and uh, um, people want glow-in-the-dark flat falls. They want, uh, you know, but it's kind of good going into this kelp patty thing because all they really need is hooks. Yeah, yeah. You know, you right. can just say, hey, garbage. you know, take some, you know, 1020 hooks and some fluorocarbon, maybe some sabiki rigs, catch catch some mackerel to supplement your bait. Um, it's it's a little bit easier to get people outfitted. Yeah, for sure, definitely, and and they're biting too, right? The, they are biting, yeah. If you get on the right spot, yes. Yeah, no doubt. Now at East County Bait and Tackle, Ryan, you were you were literally up all night, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy story. Working. Yeah, we were up uh, fishing and had a night tournament last night at San Vicente Reservoir and had a good time out there. Caught a lot of fish and you know bass fishing's been real good and this is the time of the year for the night fishing. A lot of uh, tournaments going on, so we try to, you know, run East County has a night series going on, and uh, we do that five times during the summertime, and as well as all the other events that go on, we uh, try to stay on top of that. So why the transition to night fishing? Is it the heat? Yeah, summertime they offer night fishing at the reservoirs, so we can get out there at sunset and stay until two or three in the morning, and you know the water's warm, the fish are biting, and it's cool. Can be a can be a real good time. How was the bass fishing last night? Good, good. Ton of fish, a lot of numbers. Um, didn't really see any big ones, but we had uh, great fishing. Your uh, East County Bait and Tackle uh, tournament series, right? Uh, last night was the El Cajon Ford series. El Cajon but Ford, we are, okay. Yeah, East County is running a night series as well. Our final event is on September 2nd, All and right. it's a night tournament as well. That's yeah. one, one cool thing about you going to East County and, like, everybody, everybody in that place is Ryan, you know, what I mean the same the same deal. Like every time you try and get gear for plays, this guy's fishing this tournament, this guy's fishing that tournament, this guy fished the last four days in a row. Like every every one of those guys just lives it and breathes it, and, yeah. and it's exactly the same story as Ryan. Like I'm I'm here to work. I fished literally all night long. I went home, dropped the boat off, and then came right in to do the show. Like those guys are on impressive. it. Yeah, is, totally. Is, is there a standout team that always seems to be in that top place in this, in this, or is it pretty spread out? Yeah, it's pretty spread out. It's you know you see your top 10, 15 guys that are usually always in the running. Um, it, it varies, though. It's it's a luck or draw thing. You know, you can make that one cast and catch an 8-pounder, and it can change your night. So. Sure. That's cool. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you guys have some hot sticks working at East County Bay. Oh, yeah. Tackle, right? Oh, yeah. All my guys fish these tournaments. They all, you know, show themselves at these events if they can. Um, but uh, a lot of my guys do a lot of fishing in the local waters and tournaments and things and, you know, stay on top of it. So it's good. Yeah. That's awesome. So you guys specialize in salt or freshwater bass fishing, but you also have all the saltwater stuff too. Right? Oh yeah, I mean we're busy between you know the saltwater being really good right now, and as well as the bass fishing is getting a lot better as we near the end of summer and fall. Fall's a really good transition time for largemouth and crappie and all that freshwater as well. But that saltwater game keeps us busy. We're back there spooling line and selling hooks and sinkers and trying to find flat falls and rig some topwater baits and do whatever we got to do to get those guys out there to catch yellowtail, dorado, bluefin, whatever they need. Johnny, in your uh, tackle store at Dana Landing, uh, the difference between East County Bait and Tackle and the Dana Landing tackle store, kind of contrast that, You, because I, I know you know both inventories. Well, the the East County is like a, uh, you know, I, I would call it just a specialty bass store, uh, first and foremost. They have Everything, everything you could you, you could imagine. I, I get a lot of people, you know, we're in the tourist zone in in uh, in Mission Bay, and I get people that come in that are from the Midwest and stuff, and they fish bass, and I go, well, you got to take that you know 25 minute drive out there just to just to oh, check it out, J- just to check it out because you're not going to see the kind of stuff you see there in most places in the country. I don't think, you know, swim baits and and you know big stuff like that. Now our shop at, at Dana, we're you know we have the market attached also, so you've you've uh, you know we have our our deli and and uh, beer and soda and ice and snack food. We have all that that half covered, and then we're kind of you know specialized inshore slash offshore. You know a lot we do a lot of offshore rigging um, and a, a lot of inshore tackle and uh, and you know kind of getting people on the water, being able to get people on the water from 
from nothing when they first walk in to be able to go out that after, that that day and uh, have what they need to fish. Dana's, so. Dana's one of my favorite shops ever because you can literally get a sandwich, a spark plug, or completely outfit a brand new Hatteras. I mean, from <laughs> rods and reels to wind-ons to marlin jigs to skirting and – Pick up a six Real pack and, and pick up a six pack and a sandwich. I, I love it. It's one yeah. of my favorite places in the world, and I, I, I mean, I own a tackle store and I, I buy things at Dana all yeah. the time. You know, we're right there. I, I think it's the. They have things you guys don't. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. Uh, so, what you'll see at East County Bait and Tackle that you won't see at Dana Landing is the freshwater side, right? The the freshwater side. Yeah. I mean, I have the the. We do have some freshwater stuff, but it's it's crossover stuff. It's Bay it's fishing. it's stuff yeah. that you would. You could fish in freshwater, but it, it mainly crosses over to what we'd use in the bay, in yeah. Mission Bay yeah. or San Diego Bay. A lot of that Lucky Craft and top water and stuff you can catch a Corvina on or yeah. try that same lure on and go out to, you know, the lake and catch a bass on kind of thing. But at East County Bait and Tackle, you can outfit a guy for going on the saltwater, too. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah, we have the rods, reels, you know, spectras and hooks and, you know, certain lures and things. Um you know, it's a it's a sixty forty freshwater to saltwater. We can I see. get you set up. We're not going to set up the Hatteras, but we'll get you down there to talk to Johnny and get you set up that way. So. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And and, and the the store Stephen has grown since you first uh, first inception of just how many years have you been at East County Bait and Tackle? I think we're going on like six now. Six already. Yeah. Wow. Pretty amazing. And the and the stores. Pretty much doubled in size after the first what couple years? Exactly, yeah. It went from about two thousand. Actually, it went a little bit. When when I originally had it, it was two thousand square feet, and was somewhat worried about you know just opening a tackle <laughs> store out there. So we we gave back five hundred square feet. So we're actually down to fifteen hundred square feet. Now we're back up to about four thousand square feet. Four thousand square. Feet. And I would say, obviously, the 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 specialty swim baits we have a huge display of. So there was a lot of space for that, but. Um, the the extra space is what allowed us to like really expand the saltwater end of it, um, you know, for the store, um, you know, because there are a ton of people who live in East County who want to just be able to go get their stuff, their their hooks, their fluorocarbon, everything, jump in the car, get in their sport boat and drive away. Totally. Don't want to have to mess with it. And so there, there's a huge you know audience out there, um, you know, the expansion definitely allowed us to. To, to take advantage of it, do all that. You guys use the word specialty a few times uh, describing East County Bait and Tackle. That's what I think separates it so much. Yes, they have all of the norm. They have all the norm in a bigger level and more depth than most places anyways, but in addition to all of the regular you know, worms and things like that, there's expanded sizes and colors, but all of the cool specialty stuff. And I mean, Ryan will touch on it better than anybody. You know, San Diego, Southern California, they're high-pressured lakes, and like the newest and latest and greatest is a big deal. And those guys all know about things that aren't out yet, and oh yeah, we've been fishing that for a while. It's all coming out, you know, here and there, and like that's, you know, to be ahead of the game in Southern California, you need a shop like that. You need guys like Ryan that are so, you know, above what's trending and what's new, and you know, we're we're like the highest pressured places you're ever gonna fish, and that's what separates those guys so much from everybody else. What? Why does pressure, Ryan, affect bass fishing? What? What? What is it about? all the people on the lake that affects the bass fishing. I just think they get really keen to seeing the same approach and, you know, guys fishing the same way. You know, it's a word of mouth thing. If one guy's catching a fish on, say, a margarita mutilator drop shot plastic worm, everybody's going to jump on that, and that's the next best thing. They they fish it for so long, and I think the fish just get keen to it, you know. It's, they figure it's, it out. Yeah, they see it a bunch. They, you know, they do this every day. The lake <laughs> opens up, the boats go running out there, and they they sitting on a rock pile, and next thing you know, that worm hits the water again, and they're like, man, I saw that yesterday, you know. So these guys are real keen on having the right fluorocarbon, the lightest line, the best hook, you know, just what's new, what they haven't seen, and, you know, they'll go through trends, and time of year has a lot to do with that too, but... Um, it's amazing. Always something new coming out, and these guys are they're on top of it. They they know what they want, and we try to you know outfit them properly. It's pretty amazing that how specialty guys like yourself can catch fish when when other guys can't. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's it's unbelievable to me. It's like I can't catch I can't catch anything here. <laughs> Here's Ryan sitting right next to me, just like whipping them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a, lot just, of, a lot of those guys are that way. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so because of all that. Pre- now you know we go to El Salto and it's like anybody. I, I can even catch a fish there, right? <laughs> I mean, see for the man down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look like experts. <laughs> Look how good yeah. I am. But you know, when you go to a pressured lake like uh, El Cap, San Vicente, yeah. whatever, 
it it it, it separates the, yeah. the 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 bass fishermen from the guys that are just like hacking away. You're yeah, having the you know nicest rods, reels, lightest gear, most sensitive, you know, high graphite modulus rods, and all this stuff matters. You know, each bite really does count. So they make it a uh, make it worth. Yeah. Do you think, like, you look at the press professional bass world and you look, look at these guys in the south that are fishing these massive lakes that do not get the pressure that we do out here. Do you think some of our better bass fishermen here are better than those guys? You know, from what I hear and talk to you guys who travel and fish all that stuff, they say if you can fish in San Diego and keep, you know, hold your own and do well, you have a really good shot at going anywhere in the world, basically, and doing justice and, you know, having a having a kind of a jump on things because, you know, we fish the cleanest water, the clearest water, probably some of the most pressured water, and I think that does, you know, make a difference in a fisherman locally and having them travel and do well. So, yeah, I think so. All right. Well, so back to Dana Landing. Now, you're so much more than a tackle store. You guys, you guys cover every angle. How do you get all that stuff in that store, Steve? And in addition to that, <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs> like, like you also sell fuel, diesel, and gas right on the on the dock. You're the the, the main source for fuel in, in in Mission Bay. Yeah. Yeah, that's just yeah. a little side thing. A little side <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you can keep it. You know, keep the tanks full this time of year. But uh, yeah, that's a side thing. And uh, yeah, it's funny because every time some you know a new item comes out, like uh, this week, it was uh, Rapala or Rapala, as they like to call it. Uh, oh, you were right the first time. Came out with a uh, X Rap mag with, with X Rap forty mag. The so forty. It's a deep yeah. diver, you know. And I was saying, well. Like the wall where I have all that exactly. stuff is completely packed, and I'm like, I'm gonna have to reset this whole wall now, you know. And, and uh, the rep's like, well, I'll come in and help you, you know. So right now I've got them on the counter, you know. They're, they're you know, brand, you know, every time something brand new comes in, it's like, oh no, now I gotta <laughs> like <laughs> merchandise this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is a cool looking bait though, and we've already sold some, so I, we'll we'll see what the uh, what the results are, you know, 40 foot. Uh, a 40, 40 foot extra up mag. So yeah, that's that's what Brad was explaining last week when he was on the show. Our our, our Rapala or Rapalo rep, whatever you want to call it, the, <laughs> um, the 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 twenty, the forty, the whatever is the designation of how deep they dive. So forty yeah. feet. Think about how deep that is. If you're trolling a bait and it's going to go down forty feet. Yeah, I, th- I think you're gonna have to back down the boat to get it up. Though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I got so much, so much yeah. pressure pulling back at you. I can't, you know, if you want to simulate fighting a fish, you just keep it in gear and say, yep. here, turn yep. the handle yep. on yep. this, see yep. what exactly. it's like. Right? That thing's gonna be awesome for those East Cape Wahoo guys. You know, like oh, those oh, yeah. guys don't really don't like fishing the Marauders that much. So those things get bit, and they do. They I mean they get bit better, and that big thing is gonna be such the rad East Cape Wahoo lure. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. Well, as you can hear, I have a great show lined up for today. A lot to cover today just uh, fresh and salt water so much going on in our local waters and in the local lakes yeah you're not kidding it's going to be a great time great opportunity today lots of great fishing and so much to talk about if you want to join us this morning there's two ways you can be a part of let's talk hookup both with our local line which is 858 area code 457 1090 again 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. That's our local number. Or you can reach us toll free. That toll free line is eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. One more time, eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Got it all covered today. Both freshwater, saltwater, everything in between. Catch reports. Lots of great stuff coming up. And you stay tuned. We got a lot of Let's Talk hookup coming your way. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk hookup on the Mighty Ten Ninety. Buying a boat is a big decision, and you don't want to make a costly mistake with the wrong one. This is Pete Giacalone for Cussler Yachts. I've been in the fishing business my whole life. In fact, there are probably many of you out there that have fished with me. Well, now I've taken my boating knowledge and joined the team at Cussler Yachts. Mike Cussler and the rest of our team are true professionals when it comes to finding you the right boat. Just ask Pete Gray. I helped him make the right decision on his new boat after an extensive search, and we can help you find the boat of your dreams. We specialize in sport fishing boats and are the exclusive dealer for Regulator Marine, the finest center consoles on the market. At Cussler Yachts, we know fishing and we know boats inside and out. We can save you thousands of dollars and get you into the right fishing boat for your needs and budget. 
Cussler Yachts is located on the waterfront at the beautiful Konakai Resort, and you can check us out on our website at CusslerYachts.com. That's K-U-S-L-E-R Yachts.com. Or give us a call at 1-866-607-5471. Ask for Pete and let me know you heard about it on Let's Talk Hookup. Everyone likes special treatment, you know, kind of feel like a VIP. Well, that's how our listeners are treated at Poway Valley Collision. I have personally heard of several stories of how well our friends Jim and Mary take care of their customers that we sent them. Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them today, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And listen to this. Our listeners get a special discount that can save you hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. Just tell them you listen to the show and you get the deal. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, Met- Life, Wawanisa, and more. Just bring your car or truck to them and let Poway Valley Collision do the rest. I have had my truck repaired at Poway Valley Collision and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. Tell them you listen to Let's Talk Hookup and they'll save you money on your repair. Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Cast Tours is a family owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. This is Rosie from Cedro Sport Fishing, formerly Cedros Adventures. We have made a good thing even better at Cedros Island. Cedro Sport Fishing lets you leave home in the morning and hang out at our luxury lodge in the afternoon. Remember, Cedros is the yellow tail and calico bass capital of the world. Stay in Cedro Sport Fishing's own private waterfront lodge and experience first-class meals and service. Our new fish processing facility will custom cut and pack your catch for your flight home. Hey, what are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check cedrosportfishing.com for availability and more information. Book soon. Trips are going fast. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090 again. If you want to get through, get it in the fun this morning. Two ways you can do this. First is with our local line, which is 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090 or toll free 877-792-1090. Not only are you going to get a chance to talk to this entire panel of guys, Steve and Johnny and Ryan, all your questions answered. They are giving away a couple of awesome prizes. Unbelievable here. How about this? At the end of the show today, two lucky callers are going to win a $50 gift card. We're giving away two $50 gift cards, a little $50 shopping spree, one to East County Bait and Tackle, and then another to Dana Landing Market. So two lucky callers, he's going to win a $50, $50 gift, gift card. Go today. on a shopping spree. Very, very yeah, cool. And thanks, County boys. Bait and Tackle or Dana Landing. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's talk about the big, uh, the big event coming up August 26th. For CCA California, uh, Coastal Conservation Association of California. Uh, great event. Uh, Going to be at Portuguese Hall right there on Shelter Island. Uh, fantastic event last year. And it's uh, uh, the Beer and Food Festival. It was fun last year, that wasn't was it? That was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, Stephen? That was a good time, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I know uh, they're expecting a bigger and better one this year. A lot more food, a lot more beer, and it should be a great event. Yeah, I mean, last year was a great time. So anything better? I mean, <laughs> I, I know. I'm surprised we need more. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it was a great event, and it's, it's super easy. You know, yeah. you just roll down there to Point Loma, park your car, walk in the, you know, just walk in, walk through the thing, hang out. You're outside, just, you know, with food trucks, and there's beer. Just go and get a beer and hang out and talk. It's not like a, there are sit down tables, but you know what I mean. You're out in the parking lot, just kind of hanging out. Yeah. And there's, you know, games to play, and there's so much stuff to do. So and then really, the prizes they yep, give away. Yep. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was All ridiculous how much stuff was in there last yeah, year. Yeah, it was. And a lot of people walked away with some great stuff. Yeah. So make your plans. It starts at 530 on Saturday, August 26th. It's the CCA California uh, San Diego chapter fundraiser. And you can buy tickets at ccacal.org uh, and uh, buy your tickets ahead of time. And we'll see you at the Portuguese Hall on August 26th. Let's go ahead and jump into the phones, Rick. You got it. If you want to get through, great opportunity, 858-457-1090. Let's talk to Ernie, who's calling us from La Habra this morning. Good morning, Ernie. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, guys. Um, I am going out Monday night out of San Pedro, 22nd Street Landing, and my son and I are going to go chase those big bluefin. Um, a quick report, my buddy on a private boat uh, of uh, – 
he went near San Clemente on Tuesday. They went out. They had a 130-pound test line. They flew a kite. They got bit. And the next two hours and 45 minutes, six grown men fought a bluefin tuna for two hours and 45 minutes. It wouldn't fit through the door. They hoisted it up. It wouldn't fit in the bait, you know, where they keep it underneath. And uh, those guys killed a 245-pound bluefin tuna, and all six men were beat. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Brought them all to their knees. That's Congratulations on that. Well, we hope that happens for you, Ernie, on your trip. Yeah, we have 80-pound test line, my son and I. We have uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, flat falls uh, rigged with a uh, leader of 250 pounds. And any any advice you can give us uh, how to how to fly, how to use those flat falls, we'd appreciate any advice you give us. I'm going to go off, off the line so you can finish uh, giving me some pointers. All right, Ernie. Good luck on your trip. Thanks a lot. Johnny, you, you deal with this every day. Uh, the kind of that bite is kind of converted to that flat fall in the dark, early early morning, late at night type yep. fishing, right? And also bait. You know, don't be afraid to fish bait with a sinker rubber banded on. A lot of guys are doing that. As How well. big of a sinker? Uh, probably I would say 10 to 16 ounce sinker, uh, just just to get it down there. And the the one thing I was uh, I, I heard is that. People don't realize how slow the flat falls sink, even like a 200 or 250 gram. So if the, you know, if the, uh, you, you might want to have some idea on your line spool, maybe make some, you know, make some marks to make sure you're getting down uh, to the zone. Because I heard that some of the captains were saying that, that they can see the flat falls on the sounder and the people are never getting down to where the fish are really? before they wind it back up. Yeah, so so kind of have an idea of how many you know how many fathoms of line you have to have off your reel before you're you're in the zone and stop and start winding back up. How would you recommend doing that? You can just uh you know on the way out if you want it or when you stop you can just put the rod down with the clicker on and uh, and you can just pull you know an arm length of line if you have both your arms spread out as a fathom. Okay. And you can just count it off and you take a, a you know a felt pen or black marker and and uh, and put some marks in your line so you know Good where idea. you know you know where you know 20 fathoms is and you know where 30 fathoms is uh, just so you have an idea how deep you you have the jig because I, th- I think the long obviously the longer you have it in the in the zone where the fish are hanging out the better chance you have a hooking one. Yeah, very good, good idea. Good call. And then what about uh, 200, 250 gram flat balls? Does it have to be glow in the dark? Um, I've heard of people catching them on both black in the dark and regular, and people are getting them on, you know, like those the the new Taddy 14A heavies and glow and chrome and and uh, and PL 68s. It doesn't have to be a flat fall. Just that's what everyone's using. <laughs> Does it have to be glow? I, you know, I've heard people getting them on glow and and not on glow. But if yeah. everyone's fishing glow, that's all they're going to catch what them on. Catch yeah. Them on. What, what about the the rigging them? Like, do you need to do anything different? Do you need to put a leader, or change the hooks, or do this or that? I mean, I, I would definitely recommend the leader, um, the hooks. I don't know. I mean, it's I'm sure you've seen it. Some people they have no problem with the hooks. You know, get them in. We, you know, I rig some. You rig some with like a 907691 ringed onto the back of the jig. I think that gives you a, a a really good shot at getting the bigger fish in that way. But I think a lot of it has to do with just the fighting style. If, if you're, you know, you got to know your gear and know how much pressure you can put on because I'm sure it's a lot more pressure than what you initially think. And you, you could, you know, if you can pull harder on that fish, you know, to, to start with when he's not running, then you have a better chance of not losing him. Gavin, I know I talked to Gavin from Pacific Queen a while ago about it. He was saying, you know, there's all this fear about the stock hooks not being good enough and that they fail or they pull or this. He said he doesn't remember ever seeing one pull of a fish that ate it on the sink, which is 90% of them. The only times he's ever seen one come off was, you know, a guy, guy was winding it up real fast to try and drop it again. He got bit on the line, which de- which definitely does happen from time to time. And, you know, then you pull on a 200 pounder for two hours it's you know and they've caught them and you said a lot of times when they catch them you know the guys got bit on the wine they're snagged on the outside of the head and things like that and it was his thought that those hooks are, are just fine and that a lot of them that get hooked on the outside of the face or get hooked on the wine in a bad spot and you know that, that hook is probably going to pull anyways I'm, I'm with johnny i mean there there are ways you can do it to put even bigger hooks if you want to put your you know your your percentage that much higher, but I think for the most part, when those things eat it on the sink, they're you're hooking them down deep. Those those hooks aren't you know 
you can pull very, very hard and not straighten one of those things out. You know, as no far job. as them no, pulling, no. that doesn't have to do with the hook being inferior. It has to just do with it not winding up in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. That does free up. 858-457-1090. Open right now. You want to get through, there's your chance. Let's head down south to Rancho Leonero. Mr. John Ireland's on the line. Buenos dias, John. Hi, Pete, Rick. Hello, Steve, John, Ryan. Morning, John. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got the whole gang there today. You bet. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I guess you guys got the results of the Bisbee, huh? You must have heard no, yesterday. we did not. No, not at all. Are you kidding me? We're, we're waiting uh, for you. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, big Fish 437. Uh, they had uh, over 10 fish, over 300 pounds, a lot of qualifiers. Uh, uh, Me Corazon caught it. Me Corazon, you'll find it interesting, Steve, is a 31 lures. Oh, uh, nice boat. Yeah, <laughs> just like ours. And uh, he got right off the bank, right off the front of La Rivera there. There was a couple of fish over 400 pounds, and there was seven, I believe, over 300. So it was a good, good productive uh, attorney. Uh, a lot of tuna caught as well, the big uh, – Big game fish every day were tuna, and they're ranging uh, in the 50s to 70s, something like that, every day. Uh, the, the tournament game fish, uh, the jackpot fish, was, like I said, between 50 and 70. But the fishing overall has been excellent. It really, really has. Uh, limits on both the yellowfin and dorado all week. Um, biggest dorado, or pardon me, biggest yellowfin, 70 pounds, and that was taken off Pescadero. It's kind of interesting, you know, there's a... If you look on the Cherifin, you'll see there's a band of cool water that wraps just north of Pescadero all the way down to Veneramus there. And inside it's a cooler water, 83 to 84 degree water. It just covers our area, the, all the areas we've been fishing. And outside's, uh, gosh, 88, 89, real, real warm outside. But it, on that temp break, it's been deadly. They like that cooler water. So <clears throat> most of the fish have been, gosh, within 15 miles of the hotel. Like I said, average uh, yellowfin, I'd say, has been about 25 pounds. Average dorado. Some of the dorado, most of them are peanuts. And then we get some nice bulls mixed in there, 30, 40-pound bulls. But uh, I'd say the average fish on the dorado is 5 to 10 pounds. But limits on them as well. Big, big rooster fish, again, off the lighthouse. Their uh, 50-pounders are just common. Inside, a lot of pargo, a lot of barred pargo, a lot of dog-tooth pargo. Uh, pargo. Uh, we get some good African pompano that are biting, big amberjack that are biting. Uh, it's really good fishing. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. It sounds great, yeah. and, it, and it continues because it's been this way. The East Cape is back, like I've been saying for yeah. the last few weeks. It's, it's, the East Cape is back, and uh, normal water conditions, and this is kind of the norm down there, right? Yeah, you know, I think a big part of it, I honestly do, is the park. Uh, you know, uh, when the park was started, it was a state park, and it was a lot smaller than it is now. They made the park, Pomo Park I'm talking about, large. Larger than I thought it should be. Now I now I disagree. Now I agree with them totally. I think the the fish, most of the fish we're catching, and all you know, I, I'm not talking about the blue marlin, but certainly the tuna and all that are coming out of the park. The park is just full of fish. They're they're going in. There's a lot of bait in the park. It's just the park is just alive. You've never seen anything like it. It's a, it's a, it's it's producing all the fish. So all of our boats are lining up on the park boundaries around the outside on and on the north side of the park there. And just banging them on the elephant, you know. Uh, they're kind of up and down. They'll 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 bite for like an hour or two hours, and then and then drop back down. But they're not uh, they're not a, the tuna are not a fish that you can commercially fish. You know, they're not compact. They're not in tight schools. They're they're very spread. So uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And I think that's it will continue because that park is going to and 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 also the federal government really guards that park too. So they keep the commercial guys away from that area. Yeah. So if the, if the federal day. government would just uh, do a little more control on the uh, gill nets and such like that, that would really help a lot. For Gosh, sure. if the federal government down there do a lot of things, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, John, Everybody I'm, happy. good news is fishing is good. The ranch awesome is beautiful. Got to love that place. Airfares are down. Uh, I know there's some fantastic airfares going on right now. If somebody wants to come visit you at Rancho Leonero, how do we do that? Thanks, Pete. First, I want to thank Steve and John and all that. These guys have been a big help. Dana Landing's been a big, big help for uh, Rancho Lane. There, every time I'm short of something, uh, Steve and John always jump in and take care of me. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's it's eight hundred six four six two two five two or RanchoLaneArrow dot com.
Thanks, John. Appreciate that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. You sure will. Look forward to it, gentlemen. All Thank right. you. Thanks very much. All, All right. right. Let's go ahead and jump in the phones, Rick. You got it. 877-792-1090 open right now. Let's talk to Dennis. Calling us from Linda Vista this morning. Hi, Dennis. Welcome to Let's Talk Up. Good morning, gentlemen. How Dennis? you guys doing out there? Good, Dennis. Good. Hey, um, I'm looking forward to you to your next event, man. That's always a good one. But yeah. I have a question for you guys. Um, when we go um, to your to your outlet stores, uh, ever since I turned 60, the first words out of my mouth are, because I'm on disability, is, do you have a senior or military discount? So do you guys uh, have any of those things at your stores? No, I mean, I, you know, we're, everything's pretty reasonably priced. Uh, you know, um, it's like anything, uh, you know, maybe if, it's, um, a lot of it is manufacturer, you know, pricing that I, we really can't go underneath. But uh, we do our best to get you taken care of. We can certainly find economical, uh, you know, uh, other other options, that type of thing. But to be quite honest with you, we don't. And you guys have, I would say that's the one thing about Dana, too. And I know East County's the same way. Is, I mean, you have very good gear at every level of a guy's budget, regardless if you're buying a $500 Trinidad or if you're buying your first outfit. I mean, you guys don't just have gear that's lesser expensive. You've got enough of it across the board that, you know, whatever a guy's budget is, you can put him into quality tack on. I'm sure East County's the same way. I mean, I know, I know it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think that's important if you want to stay in the business. You totally. Have, you, you, and you also just can't have just junk. I mean, that's, there's plenty of places right. to buy junk, but it's not going to work. So I think if you come in, we can certainly find you, you know, your price range, um, you know, and find you a good a good value if that's what you're looking for. If you want, you know, the best, we got it. And, and, and the other thing, too, is you're going to get the advice, too. I mean, yeah. a lot of people buy stuff online. I mean, buy it online, nobody's going to teach you how to use it. Not not every day, but it's so funny when people come in and go, yeah, you know, I, 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 I'm, I, can you help me out with this? It's broken. Can you fix it? Or, you know, I'm just like, no, just bring it back to where you bought it. Like, oh, I bought it online. I'm like, well, just go talk to them. They'll, yeah. <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll fix it for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. We had a guy who bought a pair of boots, and, like, we know the guy, and he's just like, yeah, I bought them here. And we're just like, no, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. It's, it's, it's the... It's the knowledge, and I mean, same thing down in Fisherman's. I mean, you 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 need the knowledge to back up what. And you're you buying. don't pay that much more. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it. Usually, you don't pay it all anymore. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, a, a lot of the manufacturers, it's they set the price. I mean, yeah, no, no doubt. That hey. yeah, Be, being able to go back to somebody when there's a problem is an invaluable amount, or or you know, or whatever it is, you know. I mean. And I, this looked good in the internet picture when I got it. This this thing sucks. You know, I'm, I'm with Steve. Yeah, take take it back to Amazon. I'm sure they'll you know yeah. just well, head on over there. I'm sure it'd be no yeah, problem. Well, well, any any brand reels, they're gonna have there's some lemons in there where you know you put line on it or or use it the first time and there's something wrong and it's like you know we have the option of just like we can look at that and go hey this this has to go back to the factory instantly things like, instantly look like I'm gonna give you a new reel. There was a problem with this one out of, out of the box, but you buy online, you're you know. You got to ship it back to yeah, them, and, yeah. and, and maybe they'll it, take it. Yeah, may, maybe they'll take it, but that—that's, you know, that's just a service you're going to see at an independent shop. So. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up eight five eight four five seven ten ninety. Speaking of seniors, want to remind you that uh, Wayne Cotto from CCA California is going to be at the Senior Anglers of uh, Oceanside there on Friday, August 11th. That's this coming Friday. It's a, a senior club for 50 and above, Park Community Center in Escondido. It's the Escondido Senior Anglers. Uh, and the meeting's at 9.30 a.m. on Friday, August 11th. Go see Wayne. He's great. If you want more information, senioranglersofescondido.net for more information. Also want to remind you, check out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News all the 300 pounders being accounted for there last week and a lot more. Uh, you can also see who's on Let's Talk Hookup every week. Check it out, this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Lots of great information in there and good fishing. You know, the one thing I want to talk about that we haven't got to that we were, we were you know, mentioned uh, uh, on last week's show is the rental boats at Dana Landing. You oh, know, yeah. And all the bay bass fishing that has gone in there. We had that gentleman calling last week, you know, wanting to know about, you know, going – Half day fishing, but he just wanted a trip for he and his son. And you know, one thing we hardly touched on is that's got to be one of the best fishing deals in San Diego. Period is to go down and fish the skiffs at Dana and see Johnny and get loaded up on, you know, plastics and leadheads. I mean, that that is probably the I'll, I'll bet the least expensive full fishing excursion thing you can do in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'll tell you a funny story about that. Friday morning, uh, this couple rented skiff and they were out. Uh, uh, ten minutes, 
came back to the dock, had a 22-pound howl. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Where, you, where do you get in, in, in the, 10 minutes? In the, in the <laughs> way, yeah, right, yeah, right see, from the got... marina, they come, they come back in. Can we use the scale? I'm like, oh, man, it's like, you know. 34 inches or oh, something, or 36 cool. inches is, you know, it's a good one, a good yeah. one on, on a plastic right in front of the, right in front of the channel. And then the, the new feature we have, because on the weekends, especially it's, it's, it's like a um, battle royale to get on those boats, you know, everyone, <laughs> everyone lining up. So we, we put in a reservation system oh, cool. that you can access through our website and we only, res- we only take reservations 24 hours in advance. So, uh, so, um, so you you have to you know you have to book it 24 hours before the trip goes, and uh, and then the other thing we we've added is a couple center console skiffs. Oh no uh, way! They're cool. Like, they're you know 16, 17 foot. We have a little Mako. We have a, uh, a Triumph, and you know 50 horsepower motor, so yeah. you can you can drive a little faster around the bay. They're still restricted to, to staying in the bay. But uh, a little more you, people, a little more comfort. You, yeah, you can you can go with a little bit more comfort. Not necessarily more people. It's uh, actually the, the the blue flat bottom boats fish more people comfortably because they're funny. so stable. Yeah. But the if you want to say run to the back bay or something, um, we do have those boats available for you know it's a, it's a little upcharge, but uh, but it's a it's a good option so a, as well. So if you want to reserve one. Uh, which is uh, advisable in the summertime, right? Whether it be weekday or weekend. It's uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to have yeah. your choice, we we only re- we only reserve for the full day, you know. But you can go online, go go to DanaLanding uh, dot com, and there you can follow the links from there. And and you know, it has to be 24 hours before you go, but you can book 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 the boat, and you can sit at the dock if you don't want to come down till late in the morning because. You know, if you want to, if you, yeah, on Saturday and Sunday, if you want to get a blue boat, you got to be waiting in line before we open. What's the cost for fishing on the blue boats? The blue boats are fifty dollars for four hours and seventy for the whole day. For seventy, the whole 70 day. bucks the for whole a day, day for yep. the whole boat. So you split that amongst you know you and a buddy, and 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 and, and like I said, I can't stress this enough to you. The guys in that shop are so good that I guarantee that they can. You know, you can walk in there with. Virtu- little to no- zero experience ever fishing on Mission Bay and talk to Johnny or talk to Bubba or talk to anybody in there, and they will get you 100% dialed to have a day of bay bass fishing for 70 bucks for the boat for the entire day. That's pretty amazing. Keep in mind, a-, a day is like 13 hours right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you could start early and end late if you, you want. You can start early and late. It's And it's, they all have bait tanks. You they can all have, bait you know, in they it. all have, you know, Kodiak, like a half scoop bait tank. And uh, I think at Everingham, what the guys have been telling me is they'll give you, they've been giving them like a quarter scoop, and then so they can come back later and fill in the rest of the half scoop oh, that's so cool. that the bait stays better. Nice. And and I don't know how they they know, but the 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 regulars who fish all the time they know when they have anchovy. Okay. Because they all flood down. Because when they have anchovy, you can get a lot of halibut this time of year in Mission Bay. That is awesome. On, on live, granted the. The big one on Friday was on a plastic. Okay. But uh, but uh, when there's anchovy for bait, those guys know and they're and they're on it. And then you know when they get the big sardine for bait, you'll see like a little roll off in the in the uh, in the boat rental. Interesting. You, you know, so that they're they're following they're following, following the, the bait. The, the bait. That's they're cool. Following the bait. Yeah. Very good. And you can do that. Everingham Brothers has a website that they keep pretty up to date on what's going on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also Fish Dope publishes it every day, too. Mm-hmm. So. Good call. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and jump back on the phones, Rick. You got it. If you want to give us a call this morning, 877-792-1090. Open right now. Let's talk to Fred calling us from Pacific Beach. Hi, Fred. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, everyone. question I had was, how, what kind of a rig do you use for Barracuda? Nowadays they are catching some barracuda here and there. Do they do you use a uh, steel leader or a heavy line? Uh, I mean, for me, barracuda is a surface iron fish, and uh, if you're using an iron, you don't need to use wire leader. Um, usually, you know, if you're catching barracuda on bait, there's yellowtail around too, and that they'll, you know, I would say 80% of the time you're not going to get bit off. Uh, buy them on bait, but the light surface irons like a Taddy C or a Taddy 45 make uh, great barracuda lures. And you know, even we have like Taddy C single hook. <laughs> you know, they have a single hook that's fixed on the jig. They're really good for catching barracuda and yeah. and oh, made get, for catching yeah and and, mm-hmm. uh, and getting them off the hook and stuff. So yeah. That, and then uh, what about using a circle hook if you are using bait? Is that going to be helpful for barracuda? It 
it's worked for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. They they don't they don't bite you off then. All right. But you know, for us, it's always like, well, if you get barracuda bit, it's like that could have been a yellowtail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like oh, I had shoot. a big one. Yeah. It just busted me off, guaranteed. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Or, or you know, if that bait got wasted because a yellowtail might have bit it. But, <laughs> but and there has been you know quite a bit of yellowtail off Hawaii as well. So yeah. in the same areas you'd be catching barracuda. You bet. Fred, good luck. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk hookup coming your way. We got the catch port coming up. A lot more of your phone calls and a lot more great information. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Captain Art Taylor. I'd like to invite you aboard Searcher for your next fishing vacation. Enjoy our air-conditioned cabins and galley, new improved bay tank, RSW system to preserve your catch, delicious food prepared by chefs Charlie and Dan, and a fantastic crew. Our 2017 schedule is available now. Book your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. That's 619-226-2403. Have you ever purchased a surface iron or yo-yo jig and soon the paint is almost gone? Happens all the time, but not with Pacific Lures. Their goal to build a jig that looks like bait and lasts. And that is exactly what you get at Pacific Lures. The powder-coated jig body is extremely durable with high-resolution digital imagery of actual bait fish like mackerel, sardine, and squid. A TIG-welded solid stainless steel ring gives superior strength and no corrosion. It's digital, so Pacific Lures can do custom jigs too. Buy online at PacificLures.com or selected retailers. That's PacificLures.com. And you know, Ryan uh, from ECBT just clued us in on a brand new Shimano reel. Tell us about it. Uh, It's called the Cronarch G. It is the uh, new brackish saltwater Cronarch that has all the capabilities of the freshwater Cronarch, being super light, having some of the best gearing in it, uh, very high-end bearings comes at a little higher price uh it's still worth every bit though great drags really good castability uh the braking system on it is amazing for guys who want to throw the jerk bait throw the top water throw that small swim bait um you can fish it with spectra mono fluoro um it's an awesome reel you know and if you're a freshwater saltwater guy and you want to have one reel to do both things you can take that reel down to the bay one day and the next day be in the freshwater and keep up with all the Higher end reels. It's Cronark G. Well Cronark said. That's G. awesome. One, yeah. one, one size? Yeah, yeah. It's a 150 size. A 150. What a great size. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the bay, perfect for the freshwater bass. Yes. yes. Cronark G at your local Shimano dealer, especially East County Bait and Tackle. Yep. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the mighty 1090. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. It is time for the catch port, which today is sponsored by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Focus your offshore fishing in the most productive areas by using Terrafin. And now with Terrafin Mobile, you can take it with you on your iPad, your iPhone, or any Android device. Just download the latest charts before you leave, and all the information is right there for you. Check Terrafin.com for more information. It's always important to have Terrafin charts, but right now, both with this best kelp paddy yellowtail fishing being in the hottest water and that big bluefin fishing being right on the edges of hot and cold water, it is the most important tool you're going to have with you. Have you have to have to have it. Yeah, if you're and going then offshore. you can download that Terrafin Mobile, take it with you. It's awesome. It's great reference too for when you get yourself too far west or too far east. You can pull your phone out, look at the chart, be like, oh man, we're no wonder we're in the cool water. We need to go south another two miles to get back into all that good kelp paddy water. It's a it's it's an invaluable right. tool for sure. All right, hey, let's start it off up at Whalers Cove. We're gonna find out what's biting in a spot that Pete, you and I are gonna be in just a couple weeks. Can't wait right. for that. All right, Friday. It's really around the corner. (laughs) What's up, Captain John from Whalers Cove? Good morning. 
Well, we've got a heat wave. It was 80 yesterday, oh. and it's 80 degrees today. No rain, sunshine, bring lots of suntan lotion. And, of course, we've got lots and lots and lots of big, big coho. Uh, yesterday, you know, biggest coho, I think, was about 15 pounds. Whoa. We've had several 17 and a half, uh, one 18-pounder. Uh, we've had a few kings, and, of course, the halibut is is still ridiculous how good it is. So uh, it's just it's amazing up here as far as the fishing goes, and the weather is amazing, and the whales are here. And eagles have gone inshore a little bit feeding on the pink salmon, and, by the way, there's tons of bright, bright pink salmon as well. Wow. Unbelievable, John. John. 80 degrees at Whaler's Cove. Is that paradise or what, huh? <laughs> Oh, it, it's simply a ridiculous weather. It's just uh, a heat wave, just like the rest of the West Coast. But uh, we're out there and catching fish. Uh, we're even getting them on the jig. We're mooching. We're trolling. Just about any way that you could think about catching silver salmon is what we're doing, and it is working. So, you know, if you're coming up here, bring all your, your fun uh, toys, whether it's your jig rod or your jigs. And uh, be prepared to jig them up. Yesterday we were jigging rockfish and coho together, and the other day we were doing the same and had a big old release on a halibut. And that's just fun on a super light rod. Yeah, that's how so fun cool. is that? Now, uh, we're, our group is uh, flying into Juneau on Friday, and then we'll be fly, we'll be taking the uh, the high speed uh, catamaran out to the lodge on Saturday morning and fishing Saturday that morning. Uh, looking forward to that, John. It sounds like if can you hold that weather for us too, please. I don't know about holding the weather, but, hey, the fishing's going to be still very, very good when your group arrives. How many are coming on the first round? I think the first round we have uh, in the 30s, uh, 36 or something like that on the four-day, and then Ricky has in the 20s for when he arrives on his three-day trip the, the following week. So we have a big group coming in. I might add, too, that 2018 is already filling up quickly. In fact, we had uh, uh, my wife had some uh, of her relatives talking about coming in 2018 cool. on the four day because we just rave about Whaler's Cove all the time. And we said, you better not wait because yeah. once people, what happens is, is when people come before they leave the lodge, they book for next year because it's that good. So if you want to come with us in 2018, uh, we have the dates already set. It's in August. We have a three day and a four day. The three days first next year and the four day is second next year. And if you want to come with us, uh, book ahead of time, book now to get on a Whaler's Cove because it is a very, very popular spot. Right, Captain John? It is. And also I want to mention the freshwater. Now that the, the coho are in thick and the pinks have been through and the chums have been through and the sockeye, the rivers and the streams that we fish are filling up with fish, which means that when you go up to fish on the freshwater systems, you're going to have a lot more fish to fish for, and the fly casting or spin casting is going to be just ridiculously fun. Plus, when people go up there, they see something completely different as far as southeast Alaska. They see the interior. They see some of the bears. They see the eagles. They see the otters. They see what's going on where you wouldn't normally see it. So if you're thinking about coming up here, think about taking a day upriver. Oh, Great yeah. Call, we've, got, we've, got, we've got our four days of fishing, and one of those days is scheduled upriver. And wouldn't miss that. It's such a great option that Whaler's Cove does have is that uh, remote uh, freshwater option. Hey, John, if somebody wants to book Whaler's Cove, how do we find you? Well, they can simply go to whalerscovelodge.com. That's whalerscovelodge.com and check for availability. Our phone number's there. Or they could just call 1-800-423-3123. That's 1-800-423-3123. Or as I said before, just go to whalerscovelodge.com. All right. Thanks, John. I'll see you Saturday, and then uh, we'll talk to Rick on Sunday. All right. We'll see you Saturday. Thanks, John. Thanks. Uh all right, All right, let's continue with the catchport. Head on up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man. We got him filling in. Captain Chris Pika's on the line. What's up, Pika? Good morning, gentlemen. How y'all doing this week? Hey, doing great. doing great. Great to hear from you, Pika. Great to hear from you guys. Hey, what an awesome week we've had. We've had some really good uh, bass fishing. I mean, some good quality calico bass. It's, uh, you know the you know the big sardines, the ones that are like huge. They're maxed out as big as they get. Well, that's the size of the bass are eating those and gobbling them down and wanting more. I mean, these, they're, they're, it's just been awesome bass 
fishing. You know, uh, good time to catch trophy calico bass. You even got one that was, what, a, like an eight-pounder on, you know, fly line sardine. And, you know, we got really good bait. You know, there's beautiful anchovy to chum with. And that gets these fish fired up, you know, it gets them going. And then you throw out some of those bigger anchovies, you, I mean, bigger sardines, and you fly line those. And then you're picking, we're starting to get some, establish some really good bites on some really big calico bass. Um, guys, uh, you know, that's been on like the half day areas here, you know, uh, three quarter day and, uh, even the five to five has been, uh, you know, swinging offshore. There's been some yellows that have moved up with Dorado underneath some of the patties, which is an awesome sign. We've had some water in the, you know, the low seventies here. And, uh, it's been uh, very productive once we get into some of those, uh, uh, you know, little zones where they're holding some of the kelp and it's been fun. We've had some, uh, I mean, good quality, uh, Good quality yellows are underneath them too. We caught one that was what 28 pounds. Yeah, I think it was yesterday or the day before. 28 pound yellow, and uh, he he uh, what did he bit the uh, sardine, I believe it was. Yeah, you know, guys. So uh, still, you got some uh, really good fishing here. So when you do come out in the boats, make sure you're bringing like uh, you know a bass rod, like um, you know something that's going to carry your like 10, 12. I wouldn't go any higher than 15 on the bass. As far as your uh, pound test is, and uh, also you know if you're swinging offshore, you know bring something like you know right around that 20 pound, 25 pound range. You know you got the floral carbon leaders, which are brilliant. Those things work great, uh, especially with the yellows. And you know that that goes back to the day when I remember when that stuff first came out. And Steve Crook, he brought it out on the boat, and I'm like, what's this leader stuff? And it's all floral carbon. It works really good. And I'm like, really? And then sure enough. He caught 15 yellows, and I think the next person there that caught was, like, even close to him caught, like, three. So that's how good that stuff works. And, I mean, it does definitely make a difference. And, guys, uh, you know, hook size here, even match. We have all kinds of bait. We have, you know, uh, um, anchovies as well as sardines, and they're large, medium, and small baits. So uh, bring hook size with you. Uh, bring, like, a number two, a number four hook for the, you know, for the smaller baits. And then uh, also bring some of your, you know, a couple of bigger hooks uh, for some of the bigger baits, like, you know, a one-odd or a two-odd hook, you know, something that's going to match the hook with the bait size that we're using here. And uh, fly lining has been a very good uh, productive technique to be catching these calico bass. They've also been biting some of the rubber lures, you know what I mean? Some of those rubber lures there. They, oh, yeah. Uh, those. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's awesome. That sounds like really good fishing and always a great time. Chris Pika, Dana War Sport Fishing. We want to come fishing with you. How do we do that? Guys, you can get a hold of us here at Dana War Sport Fishing, and the phone number is area code 949-496-5794. You can look us up on the web at danawarf.com. You can friend us on Facebook, or you can even download that app on your phone there and get up-to-date information whenever you want it, right at the press of a button. Wow, fantastic. And right on the front page of our Let's Talk Hookup website, letstalkhookup.com. Click on the banner. You save a lot of money on a half and three-quarter day trip at Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Thanks, Pika. Great to hear from you, and we'll talk to you guys next Sunday. Thanks, Pika. Roger that. You guys take care and have a great week. All right. You too. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch for today. Again, sponsored by SurfFishTackle.com, where you're going to find all the gear that you need to catch fish at the beach. Again, SurfFishTackle.com. Indeed. All right. Let's jump into the phones. You want to get through? Here's your chance. 877 877- 792-1090 open right now. You have a chance to win a $50 gift card to East County Bait and Tackle or a $50 gift card to Dana Landing in Mission Bay. How about that? Sounds good to me, man. How, let's talk to Bruce. He's calling us from Huntington Beach this morning. Good morning, Bruce. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Bruce. Hey. Rick, uh, I'm going up to Kingfish for next week and wonder what you thought about fishing Corey's Weedless with the, uh, the three-quarter inch chin weight. Nine I think that you would you would catch just fine as long as you could figure out a way to get about 12 ounces of lead in front of that thing and get it down to the bottom. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, th- that style of bait would would work great, but uh, I don't think that you're going to have a lot of opportunities at, at shallow water rockfish fishing where a three quarter ounce is going to be enough lead to get you down. Yeah, but if you use that slug. With a with a like a twelve or sixteen ounce lead, right, Stephen? You've done that before. That should work. Yeah. King Fisher, yeah. yeah. That, that's, they eat that slug. The, the the big eight inch or nine inch slug that he makes is fantastic. I think it's as good, if not better, than the grubs and things like that. I, I think that's a great grub. one. Yeah. And we do a lot of fishing. 
Um, depending on what boat you're on in the area and the opportunity, we do a lot of shallow water rockfish fishing in there. Um, but it's it's typically a, a well, it's still a heavier. It's a two ounce lead head. It's a two you know ounce and a half at the minimum, two to three ounce preferably with a five inch you know a five inch swim bait. I, I think that there are plenty of fish that would eat that eight inch weedless style bait. I just don't think the three quarter ounce lead head is going to be enough to do it right in most in most scenarios. Get you scenarios. down fast enough. There's a lot of tide there, a lot exactly. of current. You need stuff to get to you. So two ounce minimum, you think? I mean, I think ounce and a half minimum, two ounce preferable. Three ounce is actually a really good size. Yeah. I mean, that's what we do when we're fishing all those black rockfish. And you catch all kinds of cool miscellaneous quillbacks and tiger rockfish and china rockfish. And you catch vermilions, all kinds of really cool stuff in shallows when you're fishing in there if you've got the right setup for it. Or the it. colt sniper. The, exactly. Yeah, yeah. bigger anything, colt sniper. Anything heavy and metal. All, all that stuff in shallow gets bit pretty pretty darn good. All right. Have a great time. Yeah, no doubt, Bruce. Time. Good luck. I'm sure it's 80 degrees in Sitka if it's 80 degrees in uh, in the Whalers Cove, too. That sounds so nice. Yeah, right it now. does. Doesn't that it? sounds so yeah. nice. Thanks a lot for the call. Hey, well. when we come back, we got another full hour of Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. More of your phone calls and more of your opportunity to win those $50 shopping sprees. There's Let's Talk Cookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Everyone knows kite and yummy flyers are the hot item. But do you have the right tackle for that big bite? Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Big fish need big tackle, and that's why we recommend the Shimano Talica 52 Speed Reel filled with 130 pound Power Pro Hollow Ace and a Shimano Terez 72 Double Extra Heavy Rod. At Fisherman's Landing Tackle, we have more experience and expertise on fishing for big local bluefin tuna than anyone else. So why take a chance on your fish of a lifetime. Let us set you up with a Shimano rod and reel that will get the job done. Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Our hard-working crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trips, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing is now a full-service sport fishing operation, offering great half-day and now three-quarter day open party trips. Book online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Ranch is small, you know, it's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards, we've got kayaks, we've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252, 646-BAHA. And RanchoLandNarrow.com, it's unique. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot Fight icons and more. So, bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain! Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The Mighty 
1090. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over 15 years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fishing charter captains in all of Sitka, and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every Every year and salmon well sitka is famous for some of the best runs in alaska we also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod and when it comes to fish processing the best in alaska is kingfisher charters and listen to this it's all included in your package in fact everything is included except the tips it's truly amazing how the kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year come and join me on the let's talk hookup trip in june or just go when you can kingfisher charters 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. It's Yamaha's Power the Summer sales event. For a limited time, eligible new 90 to 300 horsepower four-strokes include two free years of Yamaha extended service. And eligible new 2.5 to 75 horsepower four-strokes include up to $500 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Offer ends August 31st, 2017. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. The bluefin are abundant this year, but getting them the bite is another story. But if you're willing to chase them, there's an opportunity to land the catch of a lifetime. Now, getting the deal of a lifetime on a new Ford is much less effort because the gigantic summer sales event is going on now at your San Diego County Ford dealer. Choose from a great selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs and save big on interest charges with zero APR long-term financing. On top of that, your Ford dealer will give you an additional bonus for your qualified trade. This special offer is available to anyone who gets approved through Ford Motor Credit. You'll also find great deals on new Ford Super Duty, Motor Trend Magazine's 2017 Truck of the Year. So why chase deals all over town when you can land the deal of a lifetime on the new Ford, car, truck, or SUV you've always wanted during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. 